Hello, third grade. So today we reviewed Plot Mountain in reading. Um, and we had huge discussions in reading. And reading was super long today because we did breakout rooms. And when I do breakout rooms, I can't record the breakout rooms. So that's why if you missed today's session, you are watching this recording. Um, so we just had a grand discussion on how Magic Treehouse books start, okay? The beginning. We are focusing on the beginning because we are preparing ourselves to write our own Magic Treehouse story. Remember that. So we brainstormed last week, and if you have not completed that assignment from last Tuesday where you had to pick where you would like to take your Jack and Annie, research it so you can include some facts in here and your story, you need to do that. That's step number one. You need to get that done. That is the core of your Magic Treehouse book. You can't have a Magic Treehouse book with no place to go, okay? Remember, in this Magic Treehouse book, they went to the medieval times, and in this Magic Treehouse book, they went to the Cretaceous period. You cannot have a Magic Treehouse book without a place to go. Jack and Annie need an adventure, okay? They need to be able to go somewhere. You get to pick that adventure. How fun is that? So. Once you pick a real place for Jack and Annie to go and travel to, you are ready for your giraffe introduction, okay? What we did today in class, like I said, we had this grand discussion in breakout rooms um, with each other about how we brainstormed um, how each of these books began, okay? And we came up, we met as a group after our breakout rooms, and we talked about um, each, like the first few chapters in each of these. Because we're not making like a whole novel here. We're making a short story, but still your introduction is going to be your first paragraph. So what typically happens in the beginning of our Magic Treehouse books? Now we know that this is a series and we learned that series have patterns. There are books that um, have similar patterns in their plot, similar patterns in how their characters act. Um, and in this case, we can expect Jack and Anzi, Annie to be um, very dependable characters. We can expect Jack to be a little bit grumpy and Annie always adventurous and maybe getting them in trouble. So um, we know that our introduction is gonna be pretty much the same every time. Not all, not exactly the same, but follow the same pattern. So we took a look at Plot Mountain and we reviewed Plot Mountain and because our story, our Magic Treehouse story, is going to follow Plot Mountain. We are here. Introduction. And in the introduction stage, this is where we introduce Jack and Annie. Now, remember, we are, um, we are not introducing them as brand new characters. We're we are introducing them to our readers um, based off what we already know about Jack and Annie. Um, we are assuming that we're, we're adding our own stories to this series. So we, we're our books, our books are going to be take place after these two have. So think about it in that way. So you are going to talk about Jack and Annie. Where where are they usually in the beginning of our Magic Treehouse books? And where do they usually go in the beginning of our Magic Treehouse books? Okay. That's the introduction. Next time we meet and have our writing lesson, we're going to talk about a rising action, then the climax, then the falling action, then the re resolution, which is the end. So we are right here. That's why we discuss Plot Mountain. We are right here. We are going to follow this pattern, this sequence, because remember, a plot is nothing but a sequence, the story sequence. We're going to follow this sequence for our story. So we are at the introduction. So we came up with this as a class after we met and had our grand conversations. So we said in our groups that Jack and Annie are always at home or in their hometown first, which is Frog Creek. We talked about that as well. So they always start off 
at home, like in the Medieval Times book, The Night at Dawn. Jack wakes up in his house and he is still in awe about the adventure they went on in, in the Dinosaurs Before Dark book. So they wake up at their house. And in the first novel, in the first novel, Jack and Annie, they weren't home home, but they were playing right near their house in the woods. So they were in Frog Creek. So we know that every Magic Tree House book most likely starts off with Jack and Annie at their home or in their hometown. So that's where your story is going to take place in the beginning. Now, we need order to our stories. That's why we need to have a beginning. Because if you just start randomly in your time period, it's not going to make sense to your readers. So we want to ease into it. And we're only focusing on our introduction today. Then we said that Jack and Annie, Jack, well, Jack and Annie, usually fight because they're brothers and sisters. They're like bickering. Jack might say something snarky to Annie like he typically does in your beginning. That's up to you, but we want our characters to have dialogue here. This is when you're introducing Jack and Annie again because we already know who they are because we read the series, but you need to introduce them to your reader in your own way. Remember, this is your story. So, um, Typically, like in the beginning of the night at dawn, you always you always see that Jack Jack is sighing, or Jack um, might say something snarky to Annie, like "Stop pretending." He whispered, "This is serious." So he's always so serious. So maybe you might have Jack say something serious and Annie not take him seriously like she usually does. Or Annie might say something too um, silly to make Jack uh, Jack lose his temper a little bit with her as a big brother. Um, and Annie is always more adventurous than Jack. So anyway, they might you might have in your beginning of the story – Jack being grumpy or bossy to Annie, and they, they might have a disagreement. That is up to you. Now, this part, every beginning, they have an idea and want to go back to the treehouse. So at night at dawn, they wanted to go back to, to the treehouse because they were curious about the treehouse because they know what it does now. They know how the magic works, works and also the medallion. What was that all about? So that was the reason to go back. What's going to be your reason? And then they usually find a book. Like Jack was drawn to the dinosaur book in the first novel. Annie was drawn to the night book, or the castle book, at the night at dawn. And they made a wish. So you have your, your setting, your big time period or place that they're going to travel to is going to be the book. So you need to give your book a title. You might want to describe the picture on the cover. But one of your characters, Jack or Annie or both, are going to make a wish. They are, they're going to want to go there. They might even argue about it. Um, I know Jack didn't really want to go to the medieval times. Um, and, and Annie made the wish anyway, and Jack was left there. I don't want to go. And that caused them to argue when they were there. Remember their argument in the treehouse when they first arrived? Um, he said, you're nuts. We need to examine the situation, said Jack from home. He didn't even want to be there. He wanted to make a plan before going somewhere. Well, that's not how Annie works. She's not one to make plans. So, she really goes with her gut and her feelings and her instincts. That's Annie. Well, anyway, Annie gets mad at him for having an attitude about not having a plan, and she runs off. So someone's going to make a wish. Then the treehouse spins and spins and spins. Now, I read a little um, ahead of that. Someone's going to make a wish, and then the treehouse is always expected to spin, spin, and faster and faster and faster. There's always, and in both novels, it used the same language to describe that. So it says here that to 
Jack squeezed his eyes shut. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then app, and then everything was absolutely still. That was in the second novel. Well, in the first novel, it says the exact same words. It uses the same language. It says, Jack and Annie crouched to the floor. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still, absolutely still. So that's going to happen in your story, too. So after someone makes a wish, the treehouse is going to go and spin and take you to that place. And then finally, for your introduction, Jack and Annie are in the place. They are there, okay? And something happens that makes them stay. So like mentioned before, something happens that makes them stay. Now, they were curious about dinosaurs before in their new adventure. That's why they stayed in the first book. Um, but in the second book, remember, Annie ran off, and that's why they had to stay. And then that's going to be it. That's all we're going to focus on today is our beginning. We're not going to get into the action, okay? The action is for next time. So we'll have our action pack scenes next time we have our writing lesson. I want you to work on this until it is done, okay? I want you to take your time with this. So you might even use Wednesday to really get into your introduction. If you have not researched your time period or your place that you're taking Jack and Annie, you need to have that assignment done first. Get that done today so you can start the fun part. And a we had so much fun. We uh, talked about our introductions and a lot of you already came up with your introductions in class and we shared them with one another and I'm so excited for this class book. So have fun with this and if you have any, any questions, let me know. Also, I gave you a packet to help you with this process. It, is lo it was located with your Christmas present your Christmas book that I gave you. And remember, you have that as a reference. That's another Magic Treehouse book. Um, you have that as a reference um, for ideas, if you need ideas on how the beginning gets started. Now, oh, in your reading, we are on week nine. And this assignment that you are working on needs to be put into the Monday folder when you are finished with it. And remember, this is a rough draft, so it's going to be pretty rough. We're going to conference together, and we'll fix it up, clean it up. But as you're reading your rough draft out loud to me, if you are noticing that you aren't talking in complete sentences, you might want to stop and try again, okay? And um, a lot of you have already turned this in, so that's so exciting. This, is, this was in the packet that I gave you. I gave you a, a packet that had a story map on the front, and then when you open it up, it had sections in it, and one of them is the beginning. So this is where you can take notes. Um, you can use this for, for um, coming up with your ideas, or you could just use a regular, normal notebook paper. So if you don't have this, you are going to use normal notebook paper. All right? I just made that packet for you to keep you organized and all your stuff in one place. So if you are using normal notebook paper and it's not in a notebook, then you need to hold on to that and really keep it safe, okay? Guard it with your life because you're going to need it for your whole entire story. Without the beginning, you don't have a story. So get to work. Let me know if you have any questions.